All right, it is a very exciting time because we've actually got two new spring collections that have launched in the last couple of days. We've got Butterick and we've also got McCall's. And I just wanted to call out how beautiful all the rebranding is looking. Um, but I'm gonna start with Butterick. McCall's will come in a few days because first of all, Butterick is my favorite. At least it used to be my favorite. We'll see what happens um, with this collection. But they didn't do a winter collection at all. So I feel like I'm really missing my Butterick and I really wanna see what they have for spring. So that's why we are kicking things off with Butterick's new spring collection. So let's see what we've got. First up is this, you know, obviously Chanel inspired jacket, dress, top, skirt, and pants. I love these little wardrobe um, patterns. Oh, that's interesting. So now when you, can I not scroll? Yeah. So normally you could just like, there's a little arrow over here and you could scroll through just to get the smaller picture, but now you can't. Okay, so let's look at these nice and big since that's what they're providing to us. So you've got a jacket. I'm assuming this is a boucle, and I'm also assuming they are going to teach you in the pattern how to get this beautiful, like, fringy, uh, frayed hems. Um, I love that it's also on the sleeve cuff and on the hem. Um, hard to kind of see what the style lines of the jacket are. We've got a oh, a um, dress, and I, I'm sure this is intentional. We'll look at the style lines on the line drawings, but this looks diagonal to me. Also, the darts are clearly too long and too high for her, so that's unfortunate. Um, also, I want to point out the age of the model, not for any reason other than I know that the big four gets a lot of criticism for not being super inclusive of anything other than young, pretty white girls. So this is nice to see. And I'm also trying to identify among the brands, it seems to me that they are each trying to find their own identity right now. And so as we look through this, I think we'll be able to have a strong feeling toward what demographic Butterick is trying to reach clearly with McCall's and the um, and the new you know hashtags and all of that they're definitely going for a, a younger demographic maybe in their 20s so judging from this first model here um, Butterick might be the more sophisticated uh, brand which would be nice Okay, so here's the top version. It's just the dress shortened. Now this waistband looks straight across. So, and then the pant, um, yeah, like a slim fitting pant, I don't know. There's the pant again, yeah, with a little tapered um, leg. Okay. Oh, and then a little print mixing, that's fun. Lots, ooh, check her out with her little ankle tat. I love that. Um, lots of pictures. Oh, here we go. Okay, still a more mature woman. And it, this is the dress tucked into the skirt. That's interesting. There's the back. This looks a little high, right? Like, don't bend over. Yeah, this must have just been a really tricky fabric. Plus, this is a really short hemline. I mean, that is above the knee, you know? But yeah, you can see how short the hemline is in the back. And two, this, I don't know if it was the fabric or what, but this looked like it was probably pretty difficult to work with. Um, here's the back of the pant. That looks really nice. One little dart, um, sort of fitted. The top looks great. I love this like cut in shoulder. Fits her really well. Kind of a cute little peplum-ish situation. Ooh, the pattern cover looks great. 
That's fun. So, okay, let's look at some line drawings. Oh, well, thank you. I heard what I had to say. So the jacket looks like uh, one little, um, like long dart. And it looks like the collar is just the facing turned out. So it's not a true collar, which is great for those of us who want like an easy but chic look. You've got your standard sleeve, beautiful darting in the back to get that really beautiful fitted shape. This is a great little basic uh, jacket pattern. We'll have to read and see if it's lined or not. But yeah, so okay, the waistband on the dress is straight across. It's not an asymmetrical thing. So something, something about that just fit her poorly. And then you've got your... Um, like a mermaid, kind of like a short mermaid shape. And then you have the notched neckline for the top and then the higher neckline for the dress, of course, interchangeable. Skirt has two darts in the front and two in the back, pretty straightforward center back zip. The dress and the top have zippers too in the center back. And then the pants are flat front, the waist, there's no waistband, there's just a facing that's top stitched, side seam pockets, and two darts in the back. Although these look a little more flared than hers that the model was wearing, so that's something to check into. Okay, let's see. Oh, and they've also got standard and PDF patterns now. I know that they were doing some testing on this. Does the PDF pattern really cost the same as a standard pattern? That's weird. Okay, well, I guess instant gratification. Mrs. Jacket with self-fringed edges, dresses, top have waistband and top stitching, slim skirt and straight pants have back zipper. So still nothing about linings. Loosely woven fabrics only. So they're only allowing you to use these like boucle type. So tweed, linen, lightweight canvas. And then for the dress, top, pants, and skirt, uh, wool blends, gabardine, crepe, tweed, linen. All right, invisible zippers. And then, yeah, there is a, so it looks like A is fully lined, which is great. A bunch of interfacing um, and then B so the dress the top unlined same with the pants and skirt so finished garment measurements we have widths and lengths so pretty useless information for us there but what do you guys think of the look of the website I think it looks really good very clean Okay, next up we have a Mrs. Jacket coat, top, and pants. Again, a more mature woman. Just make a note. So you have this crew neck, collarless, lapel-less, kind of like a lab coat, if I'm being totally honest. Uh, hits just below the knee. Uh, maybe something going on here. I can't really tell. Then you have this top and then pants. The poppies are really cute. Still hard to tell what's going on. And also, I don't know if they're shoulder pads or what, but this is lifting a lot away from her body. Okay, so this little uh, seam here, it's like a curved empire seam has been very popular and ready to wear lately. Um, everyone is doing seams like this. So I'm here for it because I have a little bit of a belly and it just like, you know, slightly pulls away, um, but still gives you a slim look through the waist, which is nice. And again, these darts look too long, but everything else looks okay, so. And then, okay, so here's the coat buttoned up. It does have princess seams 
and are those pockets? I'm not sure. Something going on here. I like this uh, length of the sleeve a lot. Oh, cute. Well, it does make it a little more like a doctor's coat, right? Don't they do that? Doctor's coats. But it is a cute detail. I think if it weren't in white, I probably wouldn't have even made that association. Also, it looks like it's unlined. This might be like a yoke facing type of situation. Yeah, but fits pretty well. This is pretty. I mean, there are some drag lines here, but nothing you couldn't fix whenever you fitted it to yourself. Okay. Here are, oh, you can do a, oh, that's what that other one that was like pulling away from her. Okay, I gotcha. Um, so a short coat, beautiful princess seaming in the front and back. Then you have the long coat that has this little added belt, which I love. Here's that scene I was telling you about on the top. And then your pants have a waistband and uh, two back darts and side pockets. And see how this... This fit, this matches up with the samples better than the last one. This is more of that tapered leg. All right. So, Mrs. Button Front Jacket and Coat. B has side back belt, top, empire waist, back, zipper, pants, have contoured waistband and side pockets. Cute. Okay, yardage. So... Crepe, linen, cotton blends, brocade, and gabardine. Just all your typical like mid-weight wovens. Buttons for the coats, invisible zippers for the top. Bias tape for something. And then the pants have a zipper and a hook and eye. Yeah, unlined jacket and coat. All right. There you have it. Next up, we've got this fun little number. I'm digging the models, you guys. I really am. Okay, so this is obviously a knit, right? It's gotta be knit. And you've got a seam here and a seam here. They have color blocked, which is nice. And then you've got a uh, band, but then the rest of it is hemmed. Ooh, of course it looks great with the stripe. She's a little bit younger though. But I love this like sporty, fun look for spring. This is really cool. I love it in a stripe. Yeah, that's really cool, right? I need one. I need one for sure. Beautiful. Yeah, that's really just so cool. All right. So yeah, like I said, you've got this like crisscross situation happening. Beautiful, um, you know, flattering type of situation. And then you have either banded short sleeves and collar or, oh, and a high neck versus a scoop neck with a sleeve. So you can pick and choose there. I do think that with the stripe, it did look a little bit more sporty to have it in a uh, short sleeve with the contrasting band. So you could take it more sporty or you could be like a lot more elegant like she is. I love options. Mrs. Asymmetric dress or asymmetric seamed dress, sleeveless and three quarter sleeves, contrast side skirt. Yep. So moderate stretch and it's only 35% stretch, which isn't super stretchy. Uh, Jersey interlock, cotton knits, and rayon knits. All right. And you really, let's see. Three eighths of a yard for that contrast. That's really, I mean, it's less than half a yard. Oh, but contrast for B is five eighths of a yard. How does that even happen? I don't know. Or shouldn't they be the same? Are they, is one longer? No. Hmm. I don't know why that is. Oh, maybe because, because the uh, grain line matters. 
because one of them you have the stripe and one of them you don't. I don't know. That would be something that you'd have to investigate. Oh, the sizing, um, six to 14 and 14 to 22. I don't know that I've noticed that on the other patterns. I'm sorry. All right. Look at this. Well, that's fun. That's super fun. I mean, it's a little ill-fitting through here. Adorable. So you've still got the waistband. I can't, this, maybe this is a knit also. Oh wait, is that a, I can't tell if that's a bust dart or not. This is so cute though. I'm loving this little ruffly hem thing. So cute. Oh man, I'm in trouble. Look at her. Are those ladybugs? That's really sweet. So cute. Beautiful seaming back here. Long darts in the back and uh, in the bodice and the skirt. I love like a wide waistband too. I just, it really just sets off that waist. Yep. Invisible back zipper, cute little sleeve flounce, love it. This is adorable, adorable. Okay, so yeah, there are some bust starts there. It was hard to tell if they were in the right place or any of that kind of stuff, but this is so cute. What fabrics do I, do I need to have for this? Uh, yardage. Crepe, linen, cotton blends, and chalet. So it's for wovens. I'm here for that. I am here for that. This has got to be some kind of crepe. Beautiful. I've got plenty of that in my stash. Okay, so you just need your zipper. And I think the bias tape is all of this. So you could obviously make your own or buy it. But I do think the package stuff, or as terrible as it is for stuff like this, I do think for this skirt, because it is so stiff, uh, really kind of acts as like almost like a horse hair or something where it makes that flounce like stand up a little bit. So there's something to be said for using the package stuff every now and again. Okay, yeah, and then 6 to 14 and 14 to 22 on the sizing. I like whenever they overlap. You know, they give us the 14 in the larger range. Cute. Okay, lots. Look at all these dresses. Jeez, I love a good dress. Okay, now we have this uh, almost like utilitarian type of dress. It's got the chest pockets, princess seaming all the way down. I don't think there's a waist seam. It's got all this beautiful top stitching, which is really lovely. Beautiful belt. The sleeve seems to be fitting pretty good considering it's just a fit model. Oh, you guys. Isn't Butterick the best? Butterick's the best one consistently. I mean, there's a lot that I love about all the other ones, but I, I, I will buy more Butterick patterns than I have any of the other patterns combined this year and most of last year too. So stinking cute. I love it. I love the patch pocket on it even. Yeah, it's just great. So cute. Love your hair. Well, I love your hair too. So a lapped zipper, which I don't know, why are they still doing that? Hook and eye. This is a little funky. This is a linen. It's beautiful. This might be sateen, maybe? Or maybe even a cotton. Well, cotton, sateen, you know what I mean. Beautiful fisheye darts in the back. You guys know I'm obsessed with that. 
I mean, look at all this shaping that you get even without the belt. And you can tell because when you look at this, like it's not that gathered. I mean, there are some parts that are gathering underneath it, but it's not like the whole thing is being cinched in by this belt, which is nice. I mean, I think that elevates the look a lot. So yeah, this is getting added to the wish list. So cute. All right, linen, crepe, chalet, I don't know about that, rayon, I don't know about that, and silk. That's weird. I don't know that I would go that lightweight. I would, it's more structured to me. Like I would go linen, cotton blends, you know, sateen, that, more structured. Like a linen rayon blend, blend would be fine. A little bit drapey, but this is a fairly structured dress. I don't, I don't know that this is right. So zipper, hook and eye, single fold bias tape, which is how you finish the arm size on the um, sleeveless version. And then two buttons for these guys. Boom, boom. But five eighths inch buttons? I don't know. That seems kind of big. And you don't want them to look like giant nipples. <laughs> so be careful. Be careful with that. All right. Six to 14 and 14 to 22 on the sizing again. Just over two eighths for the uh, sleeveless version and just under two and a half yards for the um, little sleeved version. So cute, I love this one. All right, we've got another one of these asymmetrical button dresses. And in my opinion, this is how they're supposed to be. Do you remember the, was it McCall's early spring or Simplicity early spring? I noted how the girl, it made it look like she had like a more rounded belly. I don't know, I don't know why that looks that way on her and on this model it looks different. I just know that this is flattering and that other one wasn't. So this style I've seen all over the place in ready to wear. Celebrities are wearing it, it's in all the stores. So it is definitely a trend, this little, I don't know, asymmetrical or like, I don't know, off kiltered button placket thing. So it's gonna definitely be one that will be fun to try. And of all of them that I've seen pattern wise, this is the most flattering. So this would be the one that I would get personally. But yeah, so you've got this like wrapped bodice button, you know, diagonal button, and then the buttons come straight down. So it is like a wrap dress with a button front instead of ties. Pretty simple. Sleeveless, above the knee. Here it is in an African print with a short sleeve and longer. So a little midi length. But I mean, come on, that's just so sweet for spring, right? and summer. Fits her beautifully, hits right at her natural waist, beautiful shoulder fit, neckline. I love that A-line skirt too, just how it gently floats away from the body, flattering on every single figure. I think it has side seam pockets. Yeah, side seam pockets. So cute. Like I said, I'm in trouble. I am in trouble. Oh, this one looks like it had some kind of like piping detail. Let's go investigate. Oh, it does. That's fun. That's fun. Okay. Cute. All right. Linens, crepes, cotton blends, and chalets. Sure. I agree with that. Zipper, hook and eye, buttons, bias tape, and piping. Yep, cute. Next up, oh my gosh. I like this one too. A little less. This is what I'm talking about with the 
uh, belt doing all of the work for the fitting of the dress. So now that I'm looking at this a little bit more, not a big fan of it in a shirting, which I'm assuming is what this is, but you have a scoop neck with self binding. A, this is what I really love. This sleeve is super cute. A uh, half button placket, a belt, and then a, a shirt dress hem type of thing. I think there's also pockets in there, which is why this is looking so like bubbly. Styling's really cute. Uh, styling consistently has been really cute. Okay, this is better. I knew in a drapier fabric it would be better. So you have this longer sleeve with a tie, like a band with a tie. Same situation with the belt, doing all the work, cinching in the waist, which is fine. Uh, and this one is also longer. Same scoop neck with the binding. Yeah, this just seems a little fussy. You know what I mean? I want to see this version without the belt, just your straight shirt dress. But it's really fun to see the same pattern in a more stable fabric and in a drapier fabric. For those of you that are just trying to learn about fabrics, this is a great illustration of the difference that fabric choice can make, especially drape. So there's the back. That is totally not a print I would pick up, but it looks great made into this dress. I love it. Oh, wait, so is it elasticated? Oh, that's even more annoying. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I would try this without the elastic and just have it come straight down. I don't know. But it did look pretty in a drapier fabric for sure. And I still love the sleeve. Let's check that out a little bit more. Yeah, buttons and elastic. All right. Double Georgette, Shally, Rayon, and Crepe. So they are only recommending lightweight drapey fabrics, even though this one is clearly some kind of shirting or cotton or something like that. Maybe they learned their lesson. I don't know. Okay, and it does come in alphanumeric sizing, which makes sense because, you know, it's not super fitted. Uh, so extra small to medium and then large to 2X. And then you need quite a bit of fabric for it. A bit, oh, probably because it's all cut on one. This is all, well, no, not with that placket. I don't know why you need so much fabric. Maybe the sleeve. Yeah, this isn't like jumping to the top of my list because so many of the other ones have been so great, but this is really beautiful. Just the other one needs some work. Like it, so for those of you that are like, well, why don't you just make this version in the lightweight drapey fabric? Well, because this is a little bit more fitted, I feel like a fitted skirt in a chalet is kind of odd you need the structure for this type of skirt, you know, kind of like a shirt, a button down shirt. Yes, you can have like silky, lightweight, drapey shirts, but you know, it kind of like clings to you and like hugs all your curves and stuff. And me personally, I don't want that in a skirt. You know what I'm saying? And I don't see side seam pockets. So there's, yeah, there's just kind of a, I don't know, this whole thing's a little fussy. All right, especially when so many of the other ones have been like perfect, you know? All right, this is a fun little vintage number with the double placket. You've got the uh, darts that open. You've got a gathering here at the yoke, gathering on the sleeve. See how this is like a same fabric as that green one, but it just looks better because the waist is defined by techniques that make more sense for this type of fabric. Cute A-line skirt, same bodice. There's the back, again you have the yoke. That's a really strong collar too. This 
this is just the nature of these kinds of sleeves, I think. I mean, maybe something in here could be changed, but... Again, with the crooked hems, though, I don't understand that. Cute, very vintage, inspired. Right, like the 40s, I guess. Those of you that are real good on your fashion history will be able to tell me, but so you've got really no shaping here in the back, just these two darts for the skirt, and then no darts at all for the skirt on the A-line version, but you still got these beautiful little open-ended darts. Okay. Crepe, linen, cotton blends, and rayon. Totally. 10 buttons or 12 buttons. 6 to 14, 14 to 22 on the sizing. And then, yeah, I mean, obviously the fitted skirt is going to require a little less fabric than the flared one, but I love a flared skirt. All right. I cannot believe these are all so cute. Look at this one. Okay, so you've got a V-neck contrast. I don't remember what this is called. A waistband that I think is supposed to be straight across. I don't know that it's intended to be this, the scoopy one like I was showing you before. A flutter sleeve. Kind of like a gathered skirt but fitted ish at the hips and then a bottom ruffle like i'm not usually here for the ruffly frilly okay that's not true <laughs> i love a flutter sleeve but like flutters on the skirt i'm not always especially horizontal ones i'm like eh, i don't know but this one i don't know i kind of like it okay here's the really terrible fabrication version you know the contrast plus this patchwork, it's just not very modern, but let's try and look past that. And you can see that, you know, the longer version, fun little maxi, even if they had done this in the same patchwork, I think that it would have been more successful. This contrast is just kind of strange. Beautiful in the back. All right. So, I mean, they are intending for it to be contrast always, but we don't have to listen to them. We can make our own choices. <laughs> um, little bust darts and then a little bit of gathering here, and that's it. No shaping in the back at all other than, you know, what is done in the side scene. So... Oh no, I was wrong. So it does look like this is intended to be a little bit curved. So I stand corrected. Yeah, fabrication on this is really critical. So cotton blends, rayon, crepe, chalet. Okay, yeah. And then 6 to 14 and 14 to 22, you need a zipper. And then your fabrics with the contrast. So don't forget to add those up if you're not doing a contrasted fabric. This one's really cute. I like that a lot. Um, maybe because it's kind of more blended in. Uh, but I could see it with a contrast. Like if you did two shirtings that were like the opposite of each other. Like one was blue with white stripes and the other one was white with blue stripes. That could be really cool. Um or like your chambray where this would be like solid chambray and then the rest of it would be like that chambray that has like a little print on it or something. You could you could have a lot of fun with the different contrasts where they don't actually aren't that contrasting. Okay. I can't tell. Are these all new? I guess so. This is our Connie Crawford, right? Yeah, Connie Crawford, look at me. I am 
I shock myself with how much I know about all this just from doing these um, first impression videos. Okay, so you've got your kind of like wide neckline, right? That's pretty wide opening. Uh, there is a set in sleeve and then you've got all this contrast stuff. These look like bananas to me, but you've got this contrast neckband, contrast sleeve with the slit opening and then this little contrast panel too. Yeah, I'm not a real big fan of this. Um, that one's better with the tapered pant. She looks cute. I don't know. Again, with the con, I'm just maybe not here for like the stark contrast. And then this, I know I said there was a set in sleeve, but this looks wild. That's a sleeve, right? A sleeve seam? Yeah. So it should fit better also. And just like the stiff shirting, I don't know. I don't know. Here's our line drawings. I guess in order to have like a woven that just pulls over your head, it has to be pretty loose fitting and not oversized, but you know, just loose fitting. Are you kidding me? It's knits. <laughs> I never would have guessed. Are you sure? Where was that is a knit? That is a knit. Like how much interfacing is in there to hold that up? I don't know, you guys. I'm not. I'm highly suspicious of that. It goes from extra small through extra large and then 2X to up to 6X. So that's great. Very inclusive. I just, I don't know. I don't know about it being a knit. This, I don't think is a knit. Look at how, no, right? You guys think that's a knit? Huh, okay. Well, um, all right, and then here are your fabric requirements, and all you get is a length for the finished garment measurement, even on Connie Crawford. All right, now we've got this little top here. Isn't it so great to have so many pictures? Oh, I'm so happy about that. Okay, it looks like we have another one of those like scoopy empire waist things. I'm telling you, they're everywhere. This is a beautifully drafted sleeve. It fits her well. I mean, exceptionally well. There's hardly any drag lines at all. And again, just super comfortable, super flattering. This pulls away from the body. It's beautiful. Actually, that's a seam line too. So it's almost like a waistband that's in this like scoopy shape, technical term. Oh, it's more of like a angular thing. But really, really, really too long um darts and they're too far to the inside so if you guys are gonna be making any of these i don't know if they're working off of a new block or what is going on but it seems like most of the darts are misplaced so it's easy to fix it's not difficult to move them um just pay attention to that because this looks weird like her apex is here so this needs to be like way shorter and way over to closer to the side seam. But, but, but we do have this beautiful sleeve. This little detail is excellent with the gathering in the peak of this little waistband. I love all of that. Super cute in a stable fabric. Again, for those of you learning about fabrication, this is drapey silk, maybe sanded satin type of situation. And then this is more of a cotton. This probably doesn't fit as well. Um, it seems a little tight and too fitted. So keep that in mind when you're looking at the fitted 
sleeve cap. And her darts look better. So maybe that model is just more voluptuous than what they're used to. Cute with jeans, right? And those little flats. Thank you for all the pictures. I'm so happy looking through all of these. So the waist thing band, I guess, carries through to the back. Center back zipper. Cute little top knot. The styling, like I said, is really great. Okay, so this little part of the sleeve is what I was telling you guys to watch out for regarding fit. Check your bust darts. But other than that, I think we found everything. I love this little um, lantern sleeve. There's so many names for sleeves. All right, cotton blends, lightweight linen, crepe de chine, double Georgette, and Shelly. Invisible zipper and one yard of elastic for the sleeve six to 14 and then 14 to 22 and then here's your fabric requirements next we're going to a new page all right so we've got eight more these are all going to be tops i think look how fun this is Okay. 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 This is cute. Okay. I like this one a lot. Okay. Sorry. I just got real excited as it all started to like process what I was looking at. Okay. So you've got a V-neck. It looks like a forward shoulder, I hope. Otherwise that's a funny draft. Uh, we'll look at the back and be able to tell better, but, and then you've got this little sash sewn into kind of like a it's not a princess seam, but it's like a vertical fisheye dart. And then you tie it so this kind of like folds in toward the center. And that's what creates your um, side seam shape. And then you've got that sleeve that I love so much. Right? Super cute. I, is this like a 50s thing? I can't remember what era this is taking a note from but you know that's been it's not new it's been done before but it is really cute and then a longer version of that same sleeve look at the neckline how beautiful it's fitting both of them oh and then you've got a gorgeous flutter sleeve this yellow on red oh my god they just nailed it with that she's the perfect model for this top for sure I gotta say, skipping winter might have been the best thing. They, they could really focus on spring and just knock it out of the park. And I, I feel like they really are. And in case you're wondering, this is going to be me. Long gray hair with a ponytail. When it all turns gray, it's still going to be long. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. Love it. Okay, so here's the back. And there's not a yoke or anything. There's a facing. Did the other girls... What an odd fabric. Look, it has like shiny stars. They must have found that in a clearance bin or something. Let's go through... Yeah, it is a forward shoulder. Okay. Which is just a fun little detail. And this shape of this sleeve is really pretty too. Oh, love it. I love all the versions. I want them all. All right, crepe, crepe de chine, chalet, double dread, jet, and charmeuse. Yeah, all lightweight, flowy, drapey fabrics. And then a zipper and some buttons for the sleeve cuff on the long sleeve version. And then six to 14 and 14 to 22 on the sizing. And yeah, you need some yardage for the long sleeve versions, but still really cute I need this stripe in my life where is it where did they get it okay 
Here's a top. Now this little uh, neckline has been making a bit of a comeback uh, with the like square, I don't know how to explain it. It's like square sweetheart where the sleeve is the, the top of the sleeve is like the edge of the neckline, you know, where there's not actual part of the bodice up here. So it's a raglan. And this one has a button front. It has kind of a, too many ties, if I'm being honest, but um, a tied cuff on the sleeve and a waist tie. It's very open, right? There's like a lot of your neck showing here. There it is without the cuff, without the belt and little pearl buttons. Also maybe longer. Okay, now we've got this elasticated sleeve. It's pulling open. Look at her little tattoo. Um, it's pulling open so much you can see her bra. So, and that's not even the arm that's fully extended. So I'm not sure about this point here and the stress that's being put on that. Look, she's got another one right here. I don't have any tattoos, so I really admire anyone that has the guts to do that. <laughs> I think they may be all the same length. I mean, that one just, of everything we've seen in this collection so far, this is the most matronly thing we've seen. Even though the models have all been... Uh, slightly older, women of a certain age, however you want to verbalize it, nothing has looked matronly or old or like grandma, none of that, except for this. And I think it's just, I think it's the length of it maybe. If it were just a little bit shorter, maybe that'd be a little bit more modern. This, oh gosh, I'm having a hard time with this. Uh, I want to like it because this is so interesting, but this situation here is just giving me pause. Cause for pause? Reason for whatever the term is. But that's that one is real cute, though. Even that looks... And the back is really something. I don't know what you could do to the front to help with that. But this whole, the whole thing is pulling. Hold on, let's go back. Oop. Even here. Or are those the gathers? I don't know. I don't know, you guys. It just looks off. Right? Okay. Here are our line drawings. Yep. It's amazing they got the fit that they did on these without the um, without any back darting at all, right? Especially, was it this one? Yeah, I mean, that's a pretty incredible fit considering there are no back darts at all. Okay, cotton blends, lightweight linen, rayon, and broadcloth. You need six buttons or five buttons and some elastic for that sleeve. And then here are your fabric requirements. Yeah. All right. Cute little sleeveless situation. This is adorable. This could be cut in a little bit more, but and then it's like a long tunic length. Then we've got a shorter length, a different sleeve, lighter weight fabric. I like this sleeve a lot too. And a drapier fabric. Although it looks like it kind of was a beast. So this situation out of something, this lightweight. It's like give and take, you know, this is a, a digital print linen, I think, this version. Sleeve looks good to me here. I love her braid. 
Yeah. All right. So this just looks like it would be fun to learn how to sew. Um, and they are showing it even in the picture, like it's supposed to be a bit of, not a sleeve, but it's not, it's not a cut in, you know, sleeveless top. It's extended the shoulder. So maybe the fit of that one was appropriate. And then I like this one because it looks like a bow and bows and ruffles. I don't know, kind of play in, but bows and gathers. I don't know. I like them all. They're all cute. This one, for me personally, I might, when you go to make this hem here, I might chop this off so it's long in the back, short in the front, but that's just a personal, personal thing. Okay. Yardage. Crepe, chalet, double georgette, rayon, cotton blends, and silks. Yeah, all pretty lightweight um, stuff. This is the heaviest that they went. And now that I'm looking at it, that's not, definitely not a linen. What's happening here can't be linen. So maybe crepe. Crepe, I think, is the, correct me if I'm wrong, and I know you guys will, uh, crepe is the more stable of all the lightweight wovens, right? With that texture. Okay, buttons, bias tape, and elastic. 6 to 14, 14 to 22. Here's your fabric requirements. You really don't need a lot. In fact, I have a yard of a silk that I need to to do something with. I need to get it out of my stash. It's too pretty to be there. So maybe I will go for this and shorten it. And then that's A, right? Yeah. And then if you shorten it, then you don't even, you can eke out that quarter of it. I only have a yard of it because it was an expensive silk, but... So maybe that's what I'll do. And then I'll have a little sleeveless top. Okay, well, I've got a plan, which is great. Um, okay, now we've got, oh my God, I cannot wait to get down here. Okay, <laughs> first things first, don't get ahead of yourself. Okay, so long, drapey, neckband, front yoke, flowy or short asymmetrical uh, dolman sleeve this funky seam also is it just me or something's happening here right they didn't cut it on grain or something because this is darker than this I don't know just saying So this could be deemed matronly, but for some reason, I don't know if it's the fabric or the way it's styled or even the model, it's not giving me that. It's giving me like resort wear. It's giving me like Key West, you know, like vacation. I don't know who stands around like this in fake high heels, but Okay. I'd like the shape of it a lot. I like how it's, I like how voluminous the um, waist is or the hip is. And then you've got a yoke in the back with a pleat. So yeah, it is pretty, oh, there's a better picture of it. Yeah, I could see this. I could see this going either way. I could see some people like loving this. So it is different. No, that was the shorter version. Wow, what if you did all this? That's crazy. They didn't show it that way. Oh God, like I said, I can see some people being like, yes, absolutely, this is so cool, so my style, and making it and it looking great. And then I can see people being like, no, that's really weird and ugly. And you know what I mean? I could see it being, um, it going either way. This is two contrast fabrics. No way. They're the same. Liars. I hate when they lie. Like, like we're not smart enough to pick up on that or something. 
<laughs> um, okay, so it is stretch uh, knit fabric, 35%. But I mean, for what? Like, it's not fitted anywhere. So you're really just looking for a knit that's kind of drapey because you need all of this to kind of like fall close to your body. So I wouldn't worry about the stretch content too, too much. The neckline is wide enough. Um, just find something drapier. Okay, no notions. Uh, alphanumeric sizing, extra small to medium and large to 2X. And yeah, just a little bit of fabric for B, even just a yard. Oh no, contrast, I forgot. So yeah, under two yards. And this is two and a quarter yards. All right. Okay, yes. Give it to me, queen. So we have a wrap bodice with a button. Is this like a jacket? It's like a jacket shirt. And then a skirt with, look at this side seam slit so cute you've got the contrast african print which i think in this situation it's like just the right amount of that because you know those prints are so bold um okay yes please this is adorable i'm loving this little tulip hem this sparkly button sets it off just right this one, you have the shawl on both sides and you have a fit, uh, fitted pant. Super cute. Beautiful, dirty. Although, this is her apex. So maybe not a beautiful dart after all. What the heck? Right? That's, I mean, maybe her apex is here. Okay, fine. Weird, guys. Check those darts. Yeah, unless it's supposed to not go to your bus. Look, this is her apex here. And this is the tip of the dart comes all the way up here. Is there ever a reason why you would your dart would not end at your bust apex? Like the whole point of it. it yeah, right? I'm not making that up. Oh my god, this hat. I can't. Yes, <laughs> that is awesome. Oh. Okay, here's the back, which we haven't seen yet. So center back seam. The sleeve looks really good, I think. Um, it looks like a facing on the inside, so maybe unlined to this jacket or top, whatever they're calling it. A uh, waist seam, and then your little ruffly thing kind of comes down. Beautiful. This is without the little ruffle top. It still fits her beautifully too. There they are. Cute, cute, cute. Okay. So, well, the line drawing isn't doing it any favors. That's for sure. <laughs> it looks way better on per in person, on a person. But you've got everything we talked about, right? I don't think I missed anything. The darts on the skirt and the pant. The pant does not have a uh, waistband. It has a facing. Same with the skirt, by the way. Okay. So, cotton blends, linen, crepe, and chalet. Uh, two buttons, invisible zipper, hook and eye. Grow green ribbon. Hmm. Maybe for the waistband. And then size combos are 8 to 16 and then 18 to 24. Which is only one size bigger than the other ones. So, uh, I don't, for those of you who are making the women's sizes is that is that all that much more helpful to add one more size or 
right? Or is the six or is the 14 to 22 size range in the other patterns different than this? Like, is there, I guess, is their women's sizing different than their misses sizing, even if the numbers are the same? Okay, I don't know. That the, the unknowledgeable person, <laughs> that I don't know a lot about plus sizing, but to only add one more size seems silly. But maybe I don't understand how that all works. Okay. Here are your fabric requirements. It's cute though, right? I love this little, what are they calling it, a jacket? Where's the, wait, 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 wait. Jacket, shirt, it says. So is this a, is one of them a jacket, one of them a shirt? Jacket, dress, where's the dress? So there must be something wrong with that heading. Okay, I'm like, I don't see any of that other stuff. All right, here's her hat, which I mean, I don't normally cover accessories, but let's just take a quick look because it's the pictures are gonna be so cute. And can we give it up to the hat makers out there? Because I don't know anything about hat making. Oh my God. Are those rollers? Oh no, that's a ribbon. I thought those looked like those foam hair rollers. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> okay. And then this one just has another funky flower. You guys, if it were Royal Wedding so a long time again, I would totally make one of these. That is awesome. I mean, you can't say that you wouldn't learn something, right? I don't know. Maybe I'll make one. We'll see. We'll see what kind of time I come up with. Linen. I mean, I can make one out of like a natural colored linen. Poplin. I think by silk, they mean like dupioni. Like this is like a silk to peony situation, not like lightweight drapey silk. Uh, Gabardine. Milliner millinery wire. Is it millinery? Is it, am I even saying that right? I think I'm putting the emphasis on the wrong syllable. Millinery, <laughs> whatever. Isn't that hat making? Uh, wide ribbon, craft interfacing. I don't even know what that is and then wide ribbon. Oh, head sizes? I don't know. How do you know what size your head is? Oh my gosh. There's like, well, these are all in centimeters, so I can't convert in my head, but that is very interesting. Like I said, you can't say that you wouldn't be learning something new. All right, last two things we have here are the only two skirts outside of the wardrobe patterns that they have come up with for this season. But this one's really cute, military inspired, high waist, uh, little, asymm like not asymmetrical, but one slit uh, over one knee, the buttons, of course. Here it is with no slit, but you've got buttons down one side and a waist tie. This feels very Kate Middleton to me. There's the back. Something happened. Maybe that's her shirt. Okay. Cute. Simple but cute. I think this is a straight waistband, which I'm not a huge fan of either. They just don't fit me as well, you know? Uh, linen, cotton blends, crepe, poplin, lightweight denim, invisible zipper, five buttons or 10 buttons. And then here's your fabric requirements. So you really don't need much, but I mean, 
for B, B is the one, the red one. Oh, please. No, B is the blue one. You need just over a yard of fabric for most of the sizes. Wow. So, I mean, stash buster, even if you don't add the buttons, you know? Okay. Okay, that's it for that. And then the last one we have here is this, um, oops, this uh, tiered skirt, which they have styled to the max. Um, it is pretty just from here down this the, all this I don't even know what to say about all this this is just too costumey styling wise so all right let's just take a look though so I think this is going to be like an elasticated waist which is why they covered it up which is kind of annoying but then you've got this exposed tier and then all the ones below it kind of tuck in see now this is already better um does this go asymmetrical? It's hard to tell. There's like a big shadow. Oh, the tears are only in the front. And it is an elasticated waist. What do we think about that? That's kind of genius because nobody wants that on their bum. But is that weird? Genius but weird? This is just very like Chico's. The store, you know, I love Chico's. That's also how I knew I was getting older is when I started to like Chico's. <laughs> but anyways, oh gosh. Let's look at the line drawing. Yeah, it is asymmetrical. Okay. I like this one. This, this, hmm. I don't know. It could be fun. Definitely a solid though, right? Like, can you imagine that in a print? And then, yeah, you'd have to figure out how to style it for sure. But I mean, I bet it's fun to wear. I bet it takes a ton of fabric. Which one is this? Oops. B. Ready for it? Oh, yeah. Three yards. Four yards. Up to four yards. That's wild. Four yards for a skirt with a stupid waistband. I mean, obviously you could convert the waistband or it, or at the very least make the casing larger and put in wider elastic so that, you know, it's not so chintzy. I mean, I think they used one inch elastic, yeah, but maybe a two inch elastic would give it more like purpose. So maybe that would make it look a little bit better. I don't know. But they're recommending cotton blends, rayon, chalet, and gauze. And this blue one is definitely gauze, without a doubt. So, yeah. I mean, if I found something on clearance somewhere, maybe like a Fashion Fabrics Club situation where you could get four yards for 20 bucks or something, I might go for something like that. I don't know. Maybe I should branch out. Oops. Well, anyways, there you have it. I feel like we started off really strong. And then once we got away, is there not a lookbook? Ugh, I love a lookbook. Am I just missing it? I guess not. Darn. Um, here, I can do this. We'll, we'll make our own lookbook. Oh, I can't even do that. They didn't let you show them all anymore. Jeez. Okay, anyways, I feel like we started off really strong with all these dresses because I do love, love, love dresses. And then when we got into the tops, things kind of started to get a little more iffy. Um, and then definitely by the end, uh, we were just like in a weird place. <laughs> but I do love, love, love probably five of these. And I do feel like there is a Joanne sale coming up in a couple of weeks. Now, if your Joanne is anything like mine, we're not going to have these patterns in store for this upcoming sale. But inevitably, they will mark all of these down to $2.99, $3.99, something like that. Um, so it might be a good chance to just go ahead and get them and not have to worry about the Joanne thing. 
but but yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna snatch up a lot of these dress patterns for sure let me know what you guys thought um talk to me a little bit too about this this branding that's happening and like and how they are clearly identifying who each brand is intended for. So, you know, we have McCall's with the hashtags and the young models and all of that. The, the designs are even a little younger with crop tops and, you know, things like that. And then, you know, what we've seen of simplicity being just that. Very simple, very clean, very easy. And now we've got Butterick, who seems to be giving us like a modern woman, you know, like like Loft, Ann Taylor, Chico's, Banana Republic, like White House Black Market, all that kind of brand. Um, I feel like it's falling in under the Butterick umbrella, which might be why I love it so much because I love all those stores. Um, but yeah, are, are you guys seeing that? And do you think that it's just a fluke or do you think that intentionally choosing these older models is their way of saying here's who Butterick is intended for you know let let's see if we can agree on that something is happening with the branding so McCall spring will be next I am uh, gonna take a minute to decompress and enjoy these Butterick patterns a little bit more and then I'll be back with McCall's in a few days. But thanks for watching you guys. I will see you very, very soon. Bye.